Hi and welcome to Sadie Spincraft. Today we are going to be dyeing up some mulberry silk, crimped nylon and nylon top. These are what I like to use in my add-ins for my bats or now my Rolex. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, thank you so much to all my new subscribers, you wonderful people. And thank you so much for all my regulars and people who are coming back. Thank you so, so much. I am so close to a thousand subscribers. It's unbelievable. Oh, I'm so excited. I just want to get to a thousand so that I can do lives for all of you. So you can watch me either spin, dye fibre, dye yarn. Well, not yarn, because I, I don't dye the yarn, I dye it before I spin it. Uh, but do live bat making or live Rolex, blending, washing of fleece, or even come summer, if we've got a thousand people, I can take you into the middle of nowhere and spin in the middle of a field. You just never know with me. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoy the video that is due to come. So in this pan, we have crimped nylon. We have nylon top and we have mulberry silk. And today, we are going to use primary colours. It's already got, um, I think Sadie, I think, citric acid in the water. The silk has been sat in the water for 12, 13 hours. And I'm going to put the dyeing cold on cold water to start off with because I want it to sink in, seep through, oh sorry, sink in and seep through and go from there and then I'll start heating it. Sorry I'm moving you around. So today we're using primary colours. This is, can you see it, bright yellow and this is Eurolana dyes. Eurolana and it's for wool but we're going to give it a go. So we've got bright yellow, blue, and red. So, I'm just going to use the tip of my spoon. Oh, that went all the way over there then. I'm not too keen on these Eurolana dyes, but I have no um, jacquard yellow left, so I thought I'd go with all the same brand I am going to be adding quite a bit in simply because I want a nice bright yellow when it decides to mix <laughs> with the water. Sorry, water. It's got a tea in there. So that's the yellow. And I'm sure it'll, when it warms up, it'll work better. And I'll go with blue. I 
haven't got rid of this spoon right. Maybe that's my problem. The blue's more powdery than the yellow. I should have said it's more fine, not powdery. The yellow seems to be more granules. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I've got silk at one side, the nylon top at the other side, and then the crimp nylon on top. So I was hoping to cross it over all three fibres like this. It's not going in, is it? Should have to hope that starts mixing in when the heat gets goes on. Maybe I should have mixed these before. Hmm. Well, you're seeing it as I see it. So it's all good. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> now for the red. And the red's more particles as well, like the yellow. So, not sure why the blue's more powdery than the red and yellow, but it is. We'll see how these turn out. <coughs> I am going to leave them like this just to mix and blend for a short while. Let's bring you a bit closer look. So if you can see, it's still got bits of powder with the blue. Let's see if we can't just push them in. I don't really want to mess with it too much because I want the magic to work on its own. I want the colour wheel to work as it's meant to work and blend. And I want some yellows left if I can. If not, I'll cope with oranges and purples and greens. So I'm just going to leave this for five, ten minutes and then I'll come back and show you turning it on. So, I've now left that a short while. I do believe I may get a few browns, but that don't bother me. So I'm just going to turn the heat on low. And let that slowly heat. Yeah, let that slowly heat up. And I'm going to leave it for about half an hour. So I'll bring you back when and show you what's going on. See you soon. So this is warming up nicely. I'm just going to show you. I do believe the red is kind of taking over. But then I don't know what's happening underneath. I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to leave it. But I will say there's a lot of blue-purple. Hang on. A lot of red. 
and quite a bit of yellow left. So I am just gonna leave it to do what it's doing. But you can see in the middle, we're getting greens. We've got a line of purple. It's probably purple down there. Hopefully there's some oranges underneath. And yeah, fingers crossed this turns out all right. So, update, let's have a look. My word, that red is really taking over. I think I've learnt a lesson with the red. Don't use as much. Let's have a look. Have you seen that? So, the blue bit has gone green. There's still a lot of colour in there, isn't there? I don't really want to touch. There's still a lot of yellow in there as well. Oh, that's actually greeny blue when it's red. That's different. That's blue. That's yellow. That's blue. So I think the red has already taken and we're just left with blue and yellow. So I'm going to leave that a bit longer and then just bring you back for the washing. How strange. So I've turned it off now, but because it wasn't soaking up, I added the last bit of crimped nylon and just kind of tucked it in. And now you can see, oh, I touched the water. It's actually starting to clear up is the water now. Look at the different colours in that silk. Oh, so I'm going to leave this now to cool naturally and I'll bring you back for the washing once it's all cooled um, which will probably be about three or four hours so a minute for you but three or four hours for me see you shortly so they're not quite dry yet but these are the ones that we put in first we've got red and we've got orange and blue and purple and yellow there is a bit of yellow in there as well so that's the that crimped nylon this is the silk look at all the colors in that look how deep they are that's very deep red with blues and very deep well bright yellow i know there's some green in there as well it's a green. So these aren't dry, which is why they look a bit funny. This is the nylon top. We've got the reds, the greens, the blues. We didn't get much yellow in that one. And then this is what I put in just to finish up and soak up what were left. That yellow ain't meant to be in there. They're meant to be over there. Or are they? Actually, no, there must have been a bit of yellow leaking off the... What do you call it? Ah, oh, silk. So yeah, we've got that that soaked up what was left. So that's what we got out of that dye pot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love the colours that have come out can't wait to, for them to dry so that I can start adding them into bats and seeing how the crimped nylon actually spins up because I've never actually used crimped nylon before and I don't think I've used mulberry silk before either so that's all new because I am a bamboo girl and I do like me nylon top and super bright nylon which everybody knows as Firestar. So yeah we've got two new fibers that i've not used before which i'm looking forward to using hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching i've said all this i'm repeating myself but never mind just ignore it <laughs> no matter where you are in the world whether it be morning afternoon evening or night time i want you to do what you love doing don't forget, if you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, 
hit that notification bell, hit the subscribe button. Comment below on what you'd like to see. If I can do it, I'll, I'll do it. If I can't do it, I'll have a go at it. Why not? Um, and don't forget, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, it works for me because I'll know if you like the video or I'll know if you don't like the video. <laughs> so thank you all so much for joining me. Love you all very much. Goodbye.